Good morning, I'm Mrs. Parent from Beersley Library, and today for story time we read a cute little book about snow and all the animals in the forest that were getting ready for the storm that was coming. So we're also going to make a white rabbit. I showed you this already, and guess what? This is actually a handprint. So we're going to see how we can make your handprint, we're going to trace your hand, into a little white rabbit. Look at that. So first I'll angle this camera down so you can see all the supplies, which is very, very easy what we need here. So we need your hand, we need a pencil, we need scissors, and some markers, whatever markers that you want to use for his whiskers and for his eyes and for the inside color of his ears. So I'll move those out of the way and stretch your hand out. Can you stretch it, stretch it, and just lay it on the table on your paper. And if you need help, ask a grown-up that's with you to help trace around your hand. Okay? What's nice about this little craft is it's a keepsake, too. This is the size that your hand is this day in January in 2021. And how much you want to bet if we did the same craft next year, you will have grown. So here's the hand I traced around, but you want to connect the sides here to make it rounded off at the bottom, just like we did with this little bunny. It looks like the bottom of his, his body. Okay, so now we'll cut it out. And if you need help cutting, if you don't use scissors, you can ask a grown-up that's with you to help cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. But um, we just want to cut around the thumb now. And we're going to cut it on the second finger. Um, the reason we spread our hand out so wide is we want to be able to fold in the thumb and your little pinky finger to make his front paws. And sometimes when you put it close together, which I did the first time I made this, the pinky finger just when it folds over covers up his, his mouth. Kind of looks like maybe he's stifling a yawn or, or trying not to laugh about some fun stuff the animals are playing with in the woods. So here I'm almost all the way around. So I hope you figured out what color eyes that you want your rabbit to have. You can have brown eyes, black eyes. I'm doing blue. So whatever eye color you want to use, go ahead and get that marker or crayon or colored pencil. You can use whatever you have in your home. Okay, so here is my hand print that I just uh, traced. And so you've got hi a little hand like this you want to fold down the thumb and fold down the pinky so you want to fold it down at an angle so it comes down and almost meets in the middle see that and then the, the finger in the center will just get folded back and look at that you've got your bunny shape we're almost there so now the what you're going to do is just put in the details here's our little bunny that we already did. So we want to make a uh, little feet. So it's got to show some paw marks here. So on this pinky finger that we uh, folded down and on the thumb, we'll make a couple lines and that will look like his little paws. Do you see that? He's got little paw prints. And so then you want to fold it, open it up a little bit so you can work on his face. So this one you see, I put on some teeth, a little pink nose and whiskers, and little circles for eyes that I colored in blue. So you see there's very little um, you need for supplies for this. Just your marker, basically, is some markers, and that, that's all you would work with. So I think I put his nose in the center first, because that's kind of fun to use that for our basis, for what, the, what we're going to do for the rest of our face. So I'm just going to make a little tiny rabbit nose and a little tiny rabbit mouth. So my rabbit's going to be happy because he likes 
rolling in the snow and chasing his other rabbit friends around. And little three little rabbit whiskers on one side of his nose and three little rabbit whiskers on the other side. So see, he's taking shape here. And if you want, sometimes rabbits have little teeth sticking out. So we can make, here's one tooth and another little rabbit tooth. Look at that. Okay, circles for eyes. We're good at making circles. Here's one circle, here's another circle. Um, and then what I did is I just had a blue marker to color it in. So he's got a little blue eyes. Are your eyes blue? What color are your eyes? Maybe you can make your rabbit the same color eyes that you have. And for a little more detail, look at his little teeth are crooked. Is I like to put some little dots in here for on his cheeks. Little rabbits have. And I did, what I did too on this one is cut out little half circles to glue on to give it a little bit more dimension and then put his little uh, toes on. But we can just do draw our little half circles. One foot here and one foot here. And then put our little feet on. There, look at that. And it's also cute to put some uh, coloring in his ears to show where the center of his ears, his or her ears are. And if you can continue. What else would you like to do and put on your rabbit? Maybe you could cut out a bow for um, a bow tie or a bow for the little furry head. Or maybe what you would like to do is put on a few eyelashes Look at that. And fold the little paws back down again. And fold these little paws back down again. And look at that. We have our two little rabbits that are actually handprints too. Want to go out and play in the snow with us? What do you think? Can you hop like a bunny? <laughs> All right, so that was our really easy and fast craft for today that makes a cute keepsake, too. So I hope you enjoy your day and you enjoyed this craft with me, and I'll get to see you again next week. You have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.